It's about getting them to give you a response. It's about the people. The people need a response from them. They are accountable to those people. Yeah. So once they are on, they need to account to us. So that's how come uh, we, we have to be calm and still get, get a response from them as well. Mm. Yeah. If you just join us over here on the show, this is Moments with Joy. My guest is Emma Apple and she's Irene. In case you know <laughs> and uh, she's my guest for today. We're having a very beautiful conversation. Now, you can drop your messages on our, our page, our Facebook page, Joy Entertainment GH. So far, your questions have been coming through. We've been asking some of the questions you've asked already. She's explained them. We're still on net. If you uh, have any of them that you want to... But take it easy on her. Take it, yes, take, yes, take yes. It please easy. take it easy. She's a very nice person, so take it easy <laughs> on her. All right. Okay. So let's get into some of the questions. Um, this one says, um, and that is Bright from Prime Prime. It says that KMJ, please. I want to know since since she's saying that she's not married, uh, is she dating or have a, a child or any of the sort? I'm mm. interested. Okay. So I have two children. Okay. Biological, and I have many others non-biological. Um, my first daughter is um, oh, 10, 14 in December. Oh, great. Yes, and my second is eight, is a boy. So I have a boy and a girl, biological. The other is uncountable. I'm not married once again. Um, if you want to marry me, let's see. Let's talk. He's asking if you're not dating, so maybe he says this is I'm interesting. I'm not searching. Okay. I'm not searching. <laughs> I'm very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very comfortable. Okay. Yeah. I'm very happy as well. Mm. Yeah. But this is a follow up from me, mm -hmm. by the way. I'm, I'm in, in relation yeah. to what this person is saying. What, what are the kind of man that you look out for? Kind of man. Okay, first, the person has to love God. Okay. That's it for me. Once it's a God lover, it has a vision. I don't have any you know, physical outlook. It's not about um, the physicals at all for me. Once a person is a, is a lover of God, because I spend my time in church a lot, okay. so the person has to love God. If you're ready for that, let's, let's roll. <laughs> so, Are you ought to be able to take care of me, please. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I was expecting that. You must take care of me. I can take care of myself, but you must take care of me. You know, a man's money is very sweet. I always say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A man's money is very sweet. So no, now I understand why Babi is always taking my money. Uh -huh. Like I don't she get has it. it. She can't afford, but your money is yeah. sweeter. Yeah, Babi has money. The <laughs> husband is giving her money. She's still asking me for money. Yes, it's sweeter. Ah, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Women can never change. <laughs> uh, change. <laughs> never, never. Uh, this one over here says, Bisma comes back again and says, please ask MFA who is her favorite artist and what song? Hey, artist. <laughs> hey. Okay. Artist. I like T.Y. a lot, okay. uh, maybe because of the, the rhythm, but let's come to Ghana. Ghana is strigmatic. Oh. Yeah. Any, any special ah. reason why? Trey? He's deep. He's very deep. But you know, Ghana, you're So we don't pay attention to the people that give us quality. Yeah. Yeah. But young artist is Trey. But I like um, High Life a lot, Kujuinchi. Mm. I love Kujuinchi. Yeah, but okay. for the young artists, it's trigmatic all day, any day. Awesome. Now, um, this one over here, and as Typho says that, uh, do you love me? KMJ or who? The guy is asking, do you Who's love asking? me? Who's that? Ernest over here. Ernest, Ernest in Taifa. Ernest uh, is my follower on Facebook. Okay. And, um, yeah. Ernest, I love you. And I love okay, you with so the love speaking of, of which, mm -hmm. we're going to be getting on your page, and uh, let me find out. <laughs> Looks like very interesting people on your page as well. Um, Ernest mm -hmm. is the first person that is asking for love. Yes. He can't get it. I love him with the love of God. Ernest, I love you with the love of God. Yeah. How does the love of God look around here? It's like a big. I love it. <laughs> it's okay. Let's leave it there. <laughs> Let's leave it there. This one says, okay, so this one is from your page, and uh, a couple of them over there. It'll be unfair if we don't read them. Mm -hmm. So this one says that, uh, Saddam, it says that, uh, can, we meet, can we meet sometime sometime uh, in the hood, in DC? In DC, yeah. I'm sure he knows I go to church in DC. Okay. So we'll meet there, Salom. That is, uh, in some church, of, then in if you're single, it's easy for you to meet her in church. Oh, do I? Do, does he have to be single to meet me? Well, we are just meeting from where up. it's going oh. right now. Ah, okay. It doesn't look like. Yeah. Okay, okay. 
So. Salon, come to church. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it will work when it gets there. All right. So, okay, this one says, fantastic, my always sister, um, one of the best. Uh, this one says that, uh, will you say yes to my brother, Bernard Abikwachi? You know him? Abel Kwachi works, um, he's a sports presenter okay. in the Western region. He, like, he seems to like you a lot. It looks like he does, but uh, we chat, but he, he has never said openly. He's somebody's so asking I'm just on his waiting. behalf. Why is someone asking? Why is Manike asking on his behalf? <laughs> Abel, you could come out yourself. Okay, so the one over here says, I want to have a dinner with you. Um, Grand Do, uh, Emmanuel sent in that one. He says, I want to have a dinner with you. I'm sure it's a professional dinner. I'm ready. <laughs> Uh, send an application to me. We need to vet you. We'll first. vet it we, and we, then. We won't, we won't waste our time for any I don't want a serial two by four killer. dinner. We're bringing all our family members. Yes. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> for the first uh, okay. So this one says that uh, what has been your best kiss? Best what? Kiss. Kiss. As in. Yeah. Man and woman kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, mama, mama. There are mad people here. They, hey, are here. best case, pa. There are more coming up. <laughs> Please, my pastor is watching. Oh. <laughs> best case. Oh, there are different types of cases. Okay. Mm. Educators. Is it the um, butterfly? Is it the deep case? Which I don't one? know all of these ones you mentioned. Uh, oh, I'm far behind. But, but the kiss on the forehead is always my best. Yeah. It, it, it's comforting. Mm. It tells you that I'm with you. No matter what you're going through, I love that. Okay. All right. KMJ, please ask her for me. What are some of the things that we can find in a handbag? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and that's uh, K from uh, Dan Suman. Okay. My typical handbag, it has everything. So I have my hand cream. I have Vaseline also, just in case I take off my shoes and my, sh my, my feet is dry. I have Vaseline, I have hand cream, I have perfume. It's always a must. I have lip balm. Uh, what else do I have? I have sanitizer. Um, I have money, always. Mm. And then my cat, basic. Okay. I don't go for a wash here, so I don't have uh, my panties and stuff inside, so don't worry. That's the, <laughs> the basics, <laughs> the basics in my bag. Yeah, I don't have stones in it also. <laughs> I didn't see that fan bit coming, want... really. <laughs> because I'm sure that's what people say. That we yeah. always go for our worship. No, I don't. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Richard says that in the era of side chicks and side guys, mm -hmm. would you consider one? Do you encourage it? What's your take on that? Side chicks or side guys. Yeah. I don't have um, a side guy. Currently, I'm not a side chick. Um, it's about the personal choices, mm -hmm. really. It's about personal choices. If that makes you comfortable, um, why not? Okay. So there's likelihood that you that I'll you'd, be uh, yeah you you'd encourage that it's a good thing for uh, people who feel it's comfortable for them. No, I I'm not here to judge you. Mm. I'm not here to say that this is good for you or not. You know what you're doing. It's between you and your God. Mm. Uh, this is the path you want to go on. You know within yourself. You know anything you do, there's a voice within you that yeah. speaks to you and lets you know that this is not good, this is good. But if it's your choice, mm. why not? Go for it. I can't, I can't be the judge of that. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. It's like chick side, <laughs> whatever issue there. It's crazy. All right, so let's get into this one. And this one says that... Um, um, between between going for a man with money and going for a man with character obviously uh which one would you choose and why maybe because people feel that money is just everything so even with character if there's money you pick money but but who tells us that someone won't have money and have character at the same time well it's believed a lot of people who have money don't have, have a, certain, a certain type of way of doing things oh they you haven't know, looked they always they haven't looked hard enough okay there are men who have money and have a good character mm. yeah money yes money is very important too yeah. i can't go but to you know, shop a lot in i a can't man. go to shop with character <laughs> i can't go to shop with love money is very important yeah <laughs> it's it's place it, it does everything at mm. least okay so yeah 
it's good. You you go for it. But character is also very important. But the money overrides the character. No, it doesn't. One way or the other. It doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't override the character. Okay. Yeah, because character is everything. Mm. Yeah, because you I do need money, and then you you be beating me mm -hmm. at home just because you have the money. Yeah. No. So character. And is that's very what important. a lot of women are going through, you know, because people think that they have money. And, and and it's the societal pressure. Mm. You know, every woman is expected to get married. Yeah. So everybody is chasing that kind of life, yeah. even though it is not the time, yeah. even though they are not ready. So they'll do everything just to get the missus title. And then they suffer in silence in marriage. That's not the life I want. Mm. I would rather wait okay. to get the best. Okay. Um, Gift says that KMJ, I love her so much. Uh, she's very articulate and uh, I'm really, really in love with her. But I want to find out what are some of the things she does before she goes on radio? The very last thing I do before I go on radio is to say God is in your hands. Okay. I never forget to do that. Really? I never forget to do that. God is in your hands. So I always come on with a smile, no matter what it is that I'm going through. Uh, because the people, there's someone listening to you out there who needs some kind of comfort. They come to watch you or listen to you. Mm. Not always because of the news, but maybe because of what they're going through. By seeing you smile, mm. it changes a lot for them. So we put in the best in terms of production, in terms of getting everything that we need. But the very last one is that I would impact the people that will come to watch, not just for the purposes of news, but to inspire them. Maybe there's somebody who is contemplating suicide. Yeah. By seeing me and the smile, it may change everything for the person. So I always give it up to God and say that this is my ministry as well. I consider it mm. that he should use me to impact lives. There'll be, there will be a jobless person, somebody who has completed media school wanting to do this as well. May I always be an inspiration to that person that from what I have also been through, hope is not lost. Mm. I it will come through for them one day. Okay, good stuff. Kwame Nuff from Cape Coast says that, uh, KMJ, I want to find out if she wasn't doing radio, uh, what else would she have done apart from radio? So the person wants to know. I'll be a nurse because hey. that's what my father wanted me to do. Oh. Yes. I'm a science student, though. Okay. Yes. And look I'm at where we are now. Eh? <laughs> yes. So my father always wanted me to be a nurse. He, he loved the uniform. And uh, not just the nursing, not, he didn't want me to do it in Ghana. He wanted me to be in the UK okay. because he lived there a lot and he liked the way the young nurses had their own flats and everything. He always admired it. But I'm not a blood person. I can't, I can't stand it. So mm. that's how come I didn't become a nurse. But if I wasn't doing radio, maybe I would have pursued it. Yeah. Okay. I see. <laughs> Kofi from Dansuman sent in this one earlier, and it says that, uh, um, MFA, you are a beautiful woman. Any man will fall for you, and that's cool. But have you had to beg for sex before in any of your relationships or from your male friends? Uh, <laughs> you were very much attracted to you. That's the key word, attracted to you. No. I think that um, once I'm in a relationship with somebody, I don't think I have to beg for sex. It's part of it. Me, I've always said that if I get married, I need to look for a man who is ready to have sex every day. Oh. Yes. Um, because it's part of it. That's why I'm waiting. That's why I'm celibate. That's why I'm suffering now. So if I get married and I can't get it, then what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> so I have never begged mm. uh, for sex. No, mm. I haven't. Um, my sex drive is not that high. That okay. I can't live without it. Okay. I am, I'm fine as it is right now. But... Once I get married, I'll tell you about it. Okay. So we'll be following the journey of marriage and then yes. we'll, we'll ask then, that question later on. We'll All right. have a timetable to it. <laughs> It'll it be happens. every day. Every day. From kitchen. It looks like it means a lot to you. So it means oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, you see, the man you marry must be your best friend. The man you marry must be your everything. I can't stand that I would get married to a man and he will have a best friend out there. Ah, then why did we get married? Yeah. Yeah, he must be my everything. Mm. Somebody that when I stumble, I can call and say, Charlie, right now, yeah. I just, you like head, like I just, some, you hit, something I right just hit someone, Charlie. Mm. You know, that person must be somebody that if I commit a crime, I can call and tell that, Charlie, this is what has happened. What do we do? 
So it must be your everything. So maybe that's why we are waiting. Mm. Once it happens. Mm. So. We'll bring the receipt as well. And yes. uh, you will let you know we're doing well. Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay, so let me get to this one. And it's coming from Susie. She says, what's that one thing uh, your, your life would be miserable without? One thing my life would be miserable without. Like yeah. that thing no day. <laughs> that thing no day. Hey, right now. I, I haven't thought about it. Mm. But I don't know how my life would be without my children right now. Okay. Because... Um, They've, they've been a part of everything, um, the ups and downs and everything. But I think basically, mm. I thought I couldn't live without my father until he passed. But yeah, we're fine. Once we have God, we do have everything. Miserable. I don't know. Okay, let's go on. Uh, Moses from uh, Tema says that you seem to be very excited on the job anytime that I see you do what you do. Do you have regrets at all? <laughs> Sometimes I just say, it's enough, let me just go. There are days like that, that don't you have it? We all yeah. do sometimes, like you're like, ah, it's okay, I've done enough, it's enough. But once the jingle is on, <laughs> everything changes and then it's like some renewed energy yeah. and every day you look forward to it, even though we get tired, the job is stressful sometimes, a good job is not. So. Once this is the path we've chosen, it's a calling. I always say that yeah. this job we are doing, KMJ, is a calling. Yeah. If you are not called into it, it go over you. <laughs> people, the young ones see, and then they are like, "This is a way of becoming famous. This is a way of, you know, knowing politicians. This is a way of, you know, knowing the the rich and famous in society." But really, this is a calling. Mm. If you are not called into it, you can last. Okay. All right. So um, you should know that it's a call, and those of you out there who want to get into it, um, it go over you. Mm -hmm. So when once you know where you're going, yeah. and you're, you're you should focused, be ready for it. You should be ready for every single thing that comes with it. Okay. So let's move on to this one. Um, this one says that what's one, what's the one thing you would do if you knew there were consequences to it, but you still want to do it, and that's from Samson inside um, Medina. <laughs> so as you know that this thing is really going to give you issues, but you still want to do it. Hey. Damn the consequences. Damn the consequences. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm bored like that, but not bored to the extent of knowing that this one will bring will me kill issues. kill you, but you <laughs> But I'll still do it. Okay, maybe um, in the past, when I had to have my, my first child. Okay. Yeah. It was going to come with a lot of consequences. I was scared my father was going to threw me out of the house. I was 25, I was legal, but I wasn't married. So, and um, I was scared of what my father was going to say and everything. I was ready. I actually, before I told him, I had packed my bags. Oh. Yes, because I knew he had always said that if it happens, you're gone. Whoa. Aha, uh -huh. so, and I'm anti-abortion. It won't happen. Yes, so once I knew that having sex will come with children, and then it, it came with the pregnancy, I had to face it, and and that's it, and that's what I did. Okay, but any any regrets or? Ah, uh, to I'll do it over and over again. Hey. Yes, <laughs> yes. You should know my daughter to know why I'm saying that. I'll do it over and over again. I'll I'll take that risk for mm. her any day, over and over again. Okay, uh, this one over here. Let me see. Um, it says that. Um, uh, Miss Pa Amega says, what advice does she have for young ladies who want to be like her? You should persevere. You should be ready to work hard. I, <laughs> I work like a donkey. You should be ready to work hard. And you should love God. He's everything. He always guides us in everything that we do. It's not all rosy. I won't sit here and say that it is easy. Mm. It is not easy. But with hard work, determination... And knowing and staying focused and knowing that this is what you want to do. You never give up. Okay. And go for it. It's a man's world anyway, but you see, you can be best. You can be the best. You can beat the men to it and do it. All right. So this one is from Joe Ice. It says, please ask Emma Farpao uh, that uh, how is her friendship with local department of the multimedia group? Oh, the, as in our, our um, local brands. Oh, but me, I'm, I'm with all of them. Because they, maybe they see you on the other side always, like on the joint brands always. I spend uh, most of my time at the Asempa uh, okay. area. 
Yeah, because they have food a lot. So <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always with them, uh, with Omahini, Obi and Dominic. And Dominic most of the time helps with my production okay. for the probe. If I'm looking for a guest and I'm not getting a guest to push comes to shove, I just go to Dominic. Dominic can patch up. Me pay guests. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with all of them. If you are Mankwa, I get to sometimes promote, uh, do some of his hair promos and stuff for her. So I'm, I'm with all of them. At multimedia, I don't know who I'm not cool with. Yeah. I'm cool with everyone. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> um, Doc Asapo says uh, she's amazing. Uh, she That's says my she's mom. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> oh, your mom is on our Facebook feed, man. <laughs> Hi, mommy. We love you. Oh, she sent you three hearts emojis, Yay, man. Yes. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Derek Tata says, ask her, manifest or sack on here? Manifest. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm rough. I'm rough. I'm rough. I'm rough. I'm rough. No, I'm rough. But what's about manifest? Manifest? Yeah. Ah, but why do you ask that question? I mean, everybody has a reason why they like, they yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, 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 she, yeah, yeah, she, she. Hey. Yeah, that's from the, yeah, cool. we didn't do the work. We didn't do the work. <laughs> that, that's, that's my kind of guy. Ah, if this is Sakode, we should do like that. Oh, <laughs> Minkasa, I haven't said that. Yeah, Sakode is cool, but I'll go for Manifest any day. Okay, you, you have any favorite of um, his, his, his songs? You eh, love so eh, much. Yeah, say, I don't know the title, so. But you I know that I can sing, sing along when they are singing it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people do that. Like they yeah. love it. They don't yeah. really know what yeah. exactly it is, but they, they love the, the songs. And he's played. also deep. He's he's so deep. Yeah, so I like him. Okay, <laughs> let's go to more of them. Um, how do you handle social media trolls? I I want to know because most of the celebrities do not know how to handle this, and it gets out of hand. And that's uh, coming from Kenneth. I see social media trolls most of the time as feedback. Okay, so sometimes, yeah, it gets personal. But you see, don't let it get to you. I dare not, or be not, baby, you know, because sometimes you go and look at the person writing there. No lie. The person, he doesn't deserve that kind of attention. But you see, in every insult, there is something that you can get in there which can be feedback for you. Okay? It will be catch us if you name Tantai. Uh, maybe that day, did I put on some makeup that is not good? Mm. I take a look at it. If that is not it, why should I be bothered about it? But sometimes it's about your show, it's about an interview you did, and they say, oh, I saw this interview. You didn't do well, cry. Mm. Or it didn't go well for them, so they will say that, okay, this one is yeah. not good. But take a look at it again. Go back, watch the interview, and you realize that maybe, really, there's something that you did. Maybe your emotions came up. Or maybe the questioning didn't go right. It helps you to change it. But you don't really take trolls as just trolls and then you get worried about it. No. Mm. Just take the feedback out of it. Take the good out of it and let the rest go. That's okay. how I take it. All right, great. We're just about wrapping up. But uh, this is a personal question. So if you have, if you have a million dollar here mm -hmm. on earth right now, and if you take that money, it's going to prevent you from getting into heaven what would you choose if i take the money it will prevent me from going to heaven yeah. why because that's your your price you get in here on earth okay and it so means you totally forfeit going to heaven uh, why they say you can't take money to heaven eh? no, you, you can obviously take money to heaven so spend heaven. it here and stay heaven here heaven. or leave it here and move oh i'll go to heaven okay i'll go to heaven my bible tells me that heaven will give me more than the, There's no money the million in heaven dollars. anyway. Oh, but the streets are made of gold, isn't that, it? You, you can't use that gold. There's for decoration. Who told you that? <laughs> if I go to heaven, I'll sweep the streets. <laughs> Once it's made of gold, I'm sure you it's can do something with it. So uh, you can, it's you just can, for decoration. You can uh, use them. I would rather live uh, in the street of gold mm. than just have a million dollars right here awesome. on earth. Awesome. I can lose it, you know. People have lost so much with yeah. men's gold. Yeah. People's uh, buildings have been bent yeah. with money in it. Money is not everything. It's not everything. You know, peace of mind, yeah. inner peace is everything, not just money. Great stuff. It's been, a, it's been an incredible time with you. I have enjoyed every moment of it. I think that people actually, you know, they love you. 
you know they really really do yeah. love you and uh, we're excited about it so uh, you want to tell your your fans your friends your loved ones and big shout out to mommy uh, <laughs> yeah well. um i love you right back and uh, without them um they inspire us uh, they motivate us to do what we do. We do this because of them. Mm. Uh, you can you imagine waking up to go on radio and there's no one to yeah. listen. Uh, imagine going on TV and there's no one to watch without them. So what they say, and they are like a part of our lives at this point. I see the, the, those our viewers, our audience, as much more as a family mm. than just people I don't know. So I take the time always, for instance, when on Facebook, for, and I try to like each yeah. and every comment on our live social media pages because people take time out it's midday it's the peak of the day mm. but people come yeah, and still watch and you know try to comment and be part of everything that you do so it's it's, it's everything for me mm. so uh to i love you right back okay. and thank you uh, for everything please continue to motivate us inspire us yeah yeah bonnie and pacho yeah won't take you more time on 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 the the insults yeah. and then, yeah, we are also as human as you are. We are not superhumans, but we'll try to do our best and continue to be role models where we ought to be. Mm. Thank you so much for making time out Thank for you. us. We really appreciate it. You're doing great and we love you. And uh, well, I don't know, but seriously, I have learned a lot from her. <laughs> you know, um, I see her all the time and we, we have a vibe and all that, but the sort of things she's saying right now, I had no idea. And I'm excited that I get to know all of this, you know, uh, right here on this very show. Don't forget that you can make the dates with us next week, Friday, uh, 2 p.m. sharp on our page on Facebook, Joy Entertainment GH. Another person will be on. You never can tell. Just make sure that you're on and, well, you can ask any question you want to ask. You know, this is the only place that you ask questions that, you know, <laughs> even you, you are surprised you're asking yeah. it. You're asking it because you see, <laughs> yeah, you people say they want something, so make the answer, <laughs> you know. And so we, we enjoy the, you know, time that we spend with you guys over here. My name is KMJ and it's always a pleasure to be here to serve you. Thanks for watching. Please take off yourself. Enjoy your day and your weekend as well. Come back safe on Monday and, uh, you know, love the life you live. Thanks for watching.